have lots to talk about. Too much. Good girl, Charlie. What is this? I know you have a lot on your mind, dear. Exploring the grounds, you should do it before leaving on this next mission. You won't get another chance to finish our little side projects. I know it's late, but we really must talk about the reality of you wielding that weapon. The God Killer certainly turned out to be more than we bargained for, didn't it? First, we discover its hilt is made from a member of the Blood. Then, Strange comes to the conclusion that the blade is constructed from the very primordial evil God we are trying to prevent from devouring this dimension. You think it is dangerous, do you not? I do particularly to you. I fear that its connection to your collar is a way Cathan could exploit its fissure and break it completely. You saw how the blade... reacted to you. I'm afraid it was calling to the darkness within you. Darkness you've been a little too eager to embrace. I just don't want to see you consumed by it like your mother was. I am not my mother. I am not doomed to walk in her footsteps. Please, let that be so. I already lost a sister to darkness. I don't want to lose a child to it, too. Forgive an old woman her fears. Darling, you're moping. I... I'm not moping. I am deeply concerned. Do you think the Hunter isn't ready? Well, no. And the heroes you brought together, do you expect them to fail? Of course not. Hmm. Then the only one left to doubt is yourself. Was all of this, everything you built here, a waste of time? No. It was time well spent. Exactly. Then quit moping. I missed you so much. Of course you did. I'm delightful. And if you hadn't, I would haunt you till the end of time. <laughs> Aren't you haunting me right now? <sighs> you saw right through me. Oh, Agatha. Careful, my dear. Never speak ill of the dead. Is this how we spend our next millennium? I certainly hope so. As do I. Agatha. What brings you to the library at this hour? You told Caretaker about the crack in my collar. I did. Why? She needed to know. Come now, Hunter. I couldn't keep a secret that big from her. Not when you're potentially about to face Cathan any day now. If anything, you should have told her about your collar yourself. You are right. I should have told her. Well, 
Now she knows. What's up, sunshine? I almost sent my astral form to cover more ground. That means you were trying to ghost me? I caution against speaking in modern vernacular as it rapidly evaporates from the pool of youthful lexicon. Then magic will say you are uncool. Unfathomable. According to magic, we are besties now. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Our last conversation afforded me valuable insight into my current state of being. Your continued confidence and honesty with me have rekindled some of my own belief in myself. The Sorcerer Supreme is a role only one mortal in a generation can hold. Fancy titles impress the illusion of rank upon the world, but that's all it is. A name for one who understands much and yet so little at the same time. I am merely a man with a very useful set of skills who worked to fill a niche. Salvation. Alternatively, my actions may plunge us into an age of darkness. Darkness has merely turned away from the light. One need only turn around. You have my gratitude, Hunter. Perhaps the Sorcerer Supreme could conjure me up an ice cream cone? Due to Stark's contractual obligations, I can only offer Avengers-themed flavors. Nobody needs the caloric marvel that is Hulka Hulka burning love. A single scoop is a meal unto itself. Hunter, no matter what the outcome of our struggle is, you have not given up on me. That is a bond that carries beyond words and worlds. Hunter. Just tell me what to smash. Unazua. Who is a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Sometimes, I even impress myself. I'm here if you need me.
Another project? All right, now we're talking. Always a pleasure. seen Cap around? Should I be looking for him? No, no, this is good. I've been playing pranks on everyone. Pranks? You know, jokes. Trying to keep everyone on their toes. Plus, it's fun. I hid Cap's America's number one dad mug someplace he'll never find it. That sounds like fun. Oh, it is. You can even help me with my next target. Who? Carol. <laughs> I was thinking about moving everything in her room just half an inch to the left. But she will not notice such a small change. Ah, but she will when we do it every day for a week. Very nice. I was hoping you'd say that. So long as it's simple and in good fun, I'm gonna keep causing a little mayhem. Keep it fun. That's the plan. <laughs> Ain't gonna go easy, bub. Let's do this. New and improved. All grow stronger. Caretaker said I need to be a team player. So I guess I'm letting you choose for me too. Hydra has been running some kind of field tests in the area, and that device is the key. They would rather destroy it than let us get our hands on it, so it must be important. Don't waste any time. Take them out before they can do any serious damage. Those soldiers are targeting the device. Do whatever it takes to stop them. Oh, 
something. will heal you. to see.
I'm feeling pretty good about this. get confused for that green vegetable guy, you could be cousins. Possibly match your strength. going to talk. Some for the rest of us. Why are you so angry? I fear no end. Nothing wrong.
Possibly match your strength. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Looks like we've acquired some new hardware, courtesy of Hydra. Good work. 